So they will be looking to have a change to the starter on 2002 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's uh, located right at the front. It should be an easy process to do. We'll go ahead and get started on that now. As with almost all maintenance work you do on a vehicle, the first thing you need to make sure and do is for safety, and that's going to be remove the positive side of the battery terminal. That's this red side. We'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll locate the starter. Coming here to the front of the vehicle, if you go straight down underneath, and you locate the exhaust at the front. Right behind it, there's a shield. You can see it there. That's going to guard the starter. We're going to go ahead and take those bolts out, and as you can see, it's going to be a difficult angle to video, so I'll do my best. Uh, I believe those are 10 millimeter bolts we're going to be removing. I've got the bolts taken out of this cover. There were just two small ones here and another one up there in the dark. Uh, and there was a, just a nut on the back side. There's a stud that's going to come off. To remove this, you'll kind of push it back towards the passenger side of the car. It gets out of the way and you can maneuver it out at that point. Like that. Here we can see the starter. On the driver's side, you see that bolt that started to be backed out. I uh, put a 14 millimeter socket on there and it was extremely tight. So if it's anything like mine, be prepared to, once you get a socket or a wrench on there, um, peck on it with a hammer or something and that'll help you take it off. Here I'm pointing at the bolt hole that I was talking about it being backed out of a minute ago. If you start there and go up towards the socket is, you'll find another 14 millimeter nut. This is gonna be uh, attached to a stud that's part of the starter assembly. It will need to be removed as well and you can expect it to be tight so you may need to, uh, to peck on it as well. Alright, so just as a point of perspective of where I am, I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle resting against the oil filter um, with the camera. You can see we have an electrical port up top and to the left and there's uh, two studs coming out. They had bolts on them I disconnected the top one to show you which one I'm talking about and you'll remove that. It has a black cover uh, and it leads up to the battery so be sure you've disconnected the battery. Okay, so now that we've removed all the uh, nuts and bolts that we were talking about, we can go ahead and take the starter out and it does have a little weight to it so be prepared for that. So here's the new starter I have. It looks identical to the old one. Uh, one thing that it doesn't have though is the stud that goes right here. Um, so you'll want to remove that. In mine it was extremely tight. So I had to put some channel locks on it and take it out that way. Getting the starter into position took both hands. So I wasn't able to video as I maneuvered it in. A couple of pointers I came across that would make life much easier though is if you grab the silver part on the starter and bring it in from the driver's side up and over the exhaust uh, and then reach around to the passenger side and grab from the back it makes it much easier to control where you're going with it focus on getting this hole lined up with the appropriate hole in the starter and that will make getting this stud right there in the proper hole much easier So probably just by degree of difficulty, this is the most difficult part, and that's putting the guard back on. Uh, this hole in the back side, remember, has a stud going through it, and then we got a screw going uh, in two of these holes. So let's look at how to do that the best way. Alright, so it seems a little backwards, but if we take this part with all the holes, kind of shove it as high up in there as we can get it, then rotate around we get it almost in the right position immediately then our goal becomes getting as you can kind of see uh, if you're doing it at home you may not be able to see here but you can see that stud and you can pull it up and onto it and then you got all your holes lined up and now for the moment of truth we'll check and see if it's actually going to turn over and start after all. And there you have it. Good luck everybody. I uh, hope you're able to fix your vehicle just like we showed here.